guardians. Hello, future egg guardians. Hello, egg enthusiasts. Uh, my name is Paige. I am the CEO and founder of Harmonic Egg Canada. I'm sitting here in front of my own Harmonic Egg in Niagara Falls, talking to you today with a very special new egg owner, uh, Celia Wynn in Kingston, Ontario, who is also sitting in front of her egg. Hi, Celia. Hi, Hi Paige. <laughs> I'm very happy to talk with Celia here today because she was really one of the early pioneers of this modality and really just put two, two feet first into learning everything she could about how she could bring this to her hometown, which is her new hometown. She recently moved to Kingston. So I'm very happy for that whole community that she has, uh, that they have Celia um, to work on uh, everything with the harmonic egg that they can. Um, so let's start, Celia, by just telling everyone how you came to find the harmonic egg um, and what your sort of journey was to getting to where you are today. Sure. Uh, well, I found the egg during the pandemic, actually. Um, we were all in lockdown here in Canada, and there were no eggs at the time in Canada, but uh, I have subscribed to Gaia and happened to run across uh, one of Regina Meredith's shows. Uh, that hosted Gail Lynn. And um, from the instant I saw it, I thought, wow, she's refreshing. She was just so hard on her sleeve, uh, grounded, and she was talking about this new modality. And I'd never heard of it before. I, I thought it was very strange when they were talking about some egg. I was imagining a little egg. Um, but the more she spoke and, and about some of the ailments that uh, it could help, I was intrigued. Um, my previous life has been in nutrition, holistic nutrition, and I went into that because of my own health issues and have struggled a lot in the past with um, a lot of chronic illness, anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, you name it, and Lyme disease. And um, it set me on a, a self-healing journey. And uh, I wanted to combine that with a business. And I had tried it a little bit with the nutrition, kind of dabbled in it, wasn't too sure where to go. But when I heard her speak, I actually did something very unprecedented for me and called the person who was on TV, <laughs> which I never do <laughs> until then. Yeah. And so uh, I was pretty convinced right away. I, I told myself that I would try one remote session first before taking the plunge financially and had a remote session and in that session, it was absolutely confirmed that this is what I needed to do. Amazing. And it, it's, it's really cool how many people, um, the egg owners that have gone through their own healing journey, and they've learned so much about their body, and they've come, you know, on the other side of it, and the first thing they want to do is help others to go through this process. Um, yeah. It gives you a really great insight into, you know, if you go to see Celia, um, or any of the other egg owners like her, where they're, they've come from a, a life experience, right? And now that they've got the egg, they kind of offer not just, you know, putting you in the egg, closing the door. There's so much more around it and really facilitating um, everyone's wellness that comes through the door. So I love that. That's beautiful. Um, I guess my other question would be now that you've opened uh, in, in March, was it your official opening? I opened you? March 23rd, I believe. Yes. Hey, yeah, March 23rd. How has it been? Now we're in May, uh, May 18th, I believe. How yeah, have your first couple months, months been? Yeah, I mean, it's been a fascinating journey, Paige. Um, I sensed the egg crossing the day that it came into our country. <laughs> this, this is the last American egg <laughs> that I've got here. That's right. Um, and the day that it crossed the border, I knew it had crossed the border. I knew about what time it had crossed the border because I could really feel the energy getting stronger and stronger. And um, honestly, the first couple of weeks, I had about a week between installation and opening. I was going through such a cleanse, such a cleanse. I didn't know. I was like, what am I doing? This is crazy. I was getting really ill. But it was because my body was just acclimatizing to the energy. Um, I had people um, coming in before I had officially opened, begging me, basically, banging down the doors. They'd heard of it. Can we, can we please come the weekend before? Um, that kind of thing. So I did have a soft opening um, the week before. So I didn't get much time on my own to practice. Um, but it's been it's been fabulous. I mean, the clients that I've 
I've met have been very diverse, um, you know, uh, almost as equal a number of men as women, which uh, really surprised me. Um, um, but I love it. I love it so much. And um, really, I've been getting uh, a lot of people with inflammatory issues and uh, Lyme disease, which is ironic, because that's how, you know, I, I'm familiar with that. Um, and a lot of anxiety and depression. So you'll find that you're going to attract what you need. <laughs> so a lot of my clients, I'm, I'm attracting, I think probably because I have a lot of shared lived experience with them. So yeah, no, it's, it's been wonderful. The first month and a half was crazy busy. Um, I was fortunate to um, get on global news right away. Um, in fact, I think they aired it the day that I opened on the 23rd, the news story. And that was a really, that was just a great experience because it, it uh, allowed people to come and try it. Now, I would say the majority of people who've become my members, um, and I do have memberships, and yes, I have members now, um, they uh, have been willing to work, do the work, um, willing to go through the process, willing to take the occasional ache and pain along with all of the great meditative experiences that can come of this because they recognize the long-term benefits. Um, the people I've, I've learned to distinguish and ask them quite frankly, um, are you expecting a magic pill because this isn't it? Um, and um, so it's, it, you know, I'm attracting the right people and uh, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fun. In fact, I, I, I love coming to work because it's it's so chill here. <laughs> Home is stress. Here's nice and chill. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. just reading a, a quote that Gail had posted about one of uh, there was a doctor that went to, uh, I think, doctor of sciences um, went to go see the egg, and his quote was sort of like, even just seeing the sacred geometric shape before I got in the egg. I was already relaxed and brought into a state of calm. And it's true, if you go to any of the egg centers, it's like, you don't wanna leave. You know, when I pull people out of the egg, I'm like, are you ready to come back to earth? They're like, no, I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> like, well, you know, I'll give you a few minutes, but you know, eventually you gotta come out. Um, yeah. But yeah, the eggs create this beautiful vibe. And you know, that, that extends to the buildings we're located in, it extends to the city that we're located in. Uh, which is so really I've had a client call me and ask me, is your egg on right now? Because he's a delivery driver and he knows when the egg's on. He's had, he's had some sessions in here and he can feel the energy on the street when he drives by. If the eggs, I know when the egg's on, it's, it's just incredible. He gets his tingling in his hands. He knows the egg's on. So, uh, so yeah, he's called me a couple of times. Is the egg on today? So yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That's how powerful it is. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, yeah. So speaking of some of your clients, you have a, I know you're early, you've just been open a few months, but is there, um, you know, a client story or an experience that you got to be a part of with a client that you really love or think of often? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about my, my couple friend, they bought my first family, family, fabulous family membership package, which I made up on the spot. <laughs> and um, because they were a couple and they really wanted to be coming back every month, um, and uh, yeah, and she came with her wife and the wife had a lot of health issues and we did her first in the egg. And while I was chatting with her wife, the other one that was out in the waiting room, um, she was like, I got no problems. I'm fine. And in the last 30 seconds, which you'll find often happens um, as egg owners, they give you their kitchen sink right at the end of the interview. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have this, this, this. Right. So I discovered right before we put her in the egg that she had had neuralgia in her leg for at least two years, she had trouble feeling it. She couldn't walk on it properly um, due to an accident that she'd had um, several years back when she'd fallen off a platform. Anyway, so I put her in and um, only thought about that for a moment, but I just was, was the intention was to have a nice experience because really she was here to support her wife. Well, she gets out of the egg and this is a very, uh, very, um, how would you describe this woman? really earth, earthy, earthy, very matter of fact, doesn't like all the fluff. Her wife is really into all of the meditation and, you know, every little story that comes along, but she wasn't, she was just the grounded one, I guess you could say. And, um, she came out of the egg and she's like, Oh yeah, that was fine. And she didn't really tell me too much, but I gave her the bathroom key and then she went around the corner to the washroom and I saw her dancing in the hallway. And I'm like, so what was that about? She goes, I got my feeling back in my leg. It had been years when she hadn't, she hadn't felt, felt it properly. 
And all of a sudden she was jumping on it. She was dancing. She was so happy because she got, and that was one treatment and that really blew me away. Yeah. She was obviously really ready to hear, heal that. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So she became my biggest fan. <laughs> and here's somebody who had never, never even considered alternative medicine before. Yeah. I, I love when you've got those people, they come in and, you know, they're almost looking for the egg to prove something to them. And, you know, they're not quite sure what to expect. And then, you know, you'll get the call the next day. Hey, you know, were, were you working on this? Cause all of a sudden, you know, uh, my leg is working or my headache is gone or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and it's amazing. Uh, and you end up getting reviews where people were like, I was so skeptical, but then, you know, this and this and this happened, which is always fantastic, you know, for the sake yeah. of their, their own. I have another client who, um, who uh, was in this networking with me and I gave her a free session just to try it, but she lives about two hours away in, in some, some really, really small town. I think the population is 1700 for the, that, for like a two hour radius around her. So um, I gave her a remote session. She was totally doubting. But she knew before I'd even turned the egg on, we'd set the intention in the egg. So I hadn't put the music on yet. I'd shut her in. She texts me, are you doing something? And I'm like, I'm just turning the music on right now. I turned the music on. She had the most fabulous experience and she was remote. And uh, it reminded me of what I'd gone through with the remote because the remote is incredible. Um, and uh, she was another one who was a very, very big skeptic, was only doing it because it was free and why not, right? And uh, yeah, no, she's a regular client now. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. You yeah. converted her. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I guess the only other question I have for you is sort of, are there any last words uh, for anyone thinking about trying the egg or even thinking about becoming a practitioner? Well, I mean, trying the egg, what have you got to lose? I mean, you've, you've gotten nothing but a few dollars to lose and, uh, you know, when you're going to have a really valuable experience, it's not for everyone. Um, running a business requires a lot of different facets and you've got to know what to outsource and what to do yourself in order to be economically savvy. And, you know, I'm lucky that before I became a nutritionist in my other very 3D world, before I got really sick, I was an accountant. So I kind of understood um, how to do the bookkeeping and the financial part of it. So I had that background and I'd also, um, my father was an entrepreneur, so I had a bit of a business sense. So that was really valuable. Um, that being said, um, your heart knows best. And sometimes you just got to go and just go for it. Um, it seems like a big investment and it can be scary, but it's amazing how the path opens up to you as you get to that point. So, I mean, I had a lot of healing to do between the time of when I, when I signed the contract with you, because that was in what, uh, January of 2021 or something yeah. to actually get the egg, which was in March of 2022. So there was a lot that happened, but, um, it's been fascinating how it's just the, the, you know, I, I'll worry for a little while. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting enough clients, but then I'll let it go and I'll have an egg session on abundance or something. And yeah, and it works out. And so for, I thought this was going to be a much tighter month than last month, but nope, we're just, we're doing really well. And, uh, yeah, I would say trust your heart as much as you can. And um, if it feels right to you, go for it because you don't have to know everything right away. It'll come to you. Yeah, that's such a great point. You will grow with the business. Um, I've told egg owners myself, like if I knew what I knew six months ago, you know, when I opened back in August, like you will grow so much as a person. Um, and if you don't have those skills, you know, do what I did. I, the first thing I did was hire a bookkeeper, <laughs> you know, cause I don't I hired a marketer. <laughs> I hired somebody for my social media because I'm not tech savvy. <laughs> and, and, you know, even yeah. though you've done that, I'm sure you've also learned a lot, uh, yourself about how to do those things. Oh yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's a growth, uh, it's a growth that happens. So wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Celia, for talking to us today. Thank Can you me. maybe tell us where you're located and just your website? Sure. I am at 234 Concession Street, right in the heart of Kingston. Uh, my website is harmonicagkingston.com, and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Wonderful. You guys got to go see Celia. She's an amazing woman, and she'll take such great care of you. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.